Hello beautiful people. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> my name is Julie. I know I have not said it in a lot of the videos, but I'm Julie. And today I'm going to do a full face of NYX products. I have a few NYX palettes. This one right here, Utopia. And this one right here, the Ultimate Queen palette. I think I'm going to use this one because it has a lot of pretty like pastel looking colors. And being that it's summertime, I think that we're going to go with this palette. I hope this is something that you guys are interested in. Stay tuned for the video. If you have not subscribed and you are new here or you're not new here and you have not subscribed, please do so. And also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Let's get started with the video. I have a bunch of NYX products and I'm going to <laughs> do a full face of NYX. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to start with is this NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Contour Concealer. I have it in two colors. I have it in Caramel and I have it in Golden Honey. I actually just opened this. I'm going to use it to sculpt out my brows. So I couldn't tell you about this. Never used it before. I don't know if it dries down fast. I don't know what it's going to do. So some of these products are like like a first impression. A lot of these products are first impressions. But I just thought it would be fun to sit down and do a full face of affordable makeup. See what kind of glam we can come up with. And I'm going to wear this makeup tonight because I'm going out for a little while. Nothing special. So far I like that color. I'm going to put this all over my whole lid. I'm using the Sephora Pro Concealer brush in number 57. It's blended out nice, which is always a plus. Why isn't that straight under there? It has a very light consistency. Okay, I know that you guys do not want to see me do both eyes because it's a tedious process. I couldn't find my NYX pencil. I do have a NYX brow pencil, but at the time that I tried their brow pencil, it was very, like, dry. It wasn't creamy, and I didn't like the way it feels, so... I don't know where it is. Now they could have come out with something else since then, but I did not check to see. So I'm going to do the other brow and then I'm going to come back and do the eyes. I'm going to be using this NYX Utopia palette. It has 40 shades. It has 20 pressed pigments and 20 regular eyeshadows. Now on this thing it says pressed pigments cannot be used on or around the eye. Wow. So it's an eyeshadow palette. I know you can't see it, but in that yellow writing it says pressed pigments cannot be used on or around the eye. That's quite a problem. I'm going to try this color right here. These colors do not have names. They have numbers. So we're going to try this one right here in my crease. It's like a reddish brown. So far, that's nice color payoff. Wow. I mean, it's definitely some kickback in the pan, but that's showing up really, really nice. I'm going to use this Sedona 863 brush to blend out the edges with nothing on the brush, just so we don't have any harsh lines. I'm going to go in with that color again to deepen it because a lot of times when I'm doing this on camera, it looks like a lot to me. And then when I see it back, I'm like, wow, it's not deep enough. So I want to make sure that I go deep enough with the color so it really stands out. Because I think with the lights, it makes me think that I did something. <laughs> and then I'll be like, oh my God, it's not even showing up enough. So that's what I want to do. This color is nice. It's just a really nice transition color. And it's blending out really, really nice. And I'm not even blending it into anything. I'm just blending the color out. I'm going to take this mustardy color and blend out the edges with it. I don't know why I like this, but see this color? I'm going to blend out the edges with that. And this is a Sigma E25 blending brush. So you could do like circular motions or like windshield wiper like this or circular like this. I do like a little bit of both. I just wanted to have that smooth seamless look. I'm going back into that yellow musty color. See how once you put another color up there it just like kind of fades into it and you don't even see the other color. <laughs> it's like that color is gone. You see that? The color is gone. I'm going to go back in with this brush and kind of fuse them together. I'm going to take this MAC 222 brush and go into this purpley color. I 
I think I'm gonna do a cut crease. I'm gonna attempt to use this flat eyeliner brush. I think it's a crown brush. This is a Morphe M433 brush. I'm going into this purple color right here. Yeah, I think, I think this is a light purple. It could be a light blue, but I think it's a light purple. I mean, this might be one of the ones that say don't put on your eye, cause it's tingling. But look how pretty that color is. I don't understand why it's not sticking like that. All right, I think I'm gonna go in with a little of a darker purple. This purple is pretty right here. I don't know how this turned out to be a purple look, but you know me and purple. I wanna see this color right here. Okay, this is a Morphe M124 brush. And where are we going, which color? I'm gonna try this silver color right here, this one. I have some NYX glitter glue. I'm gonna try this and see. Never used this before. This is the NYX Glitter Primer. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit more. I'm gonna go off camera and finish the other eye up to this point and then I'm gonna show you the lashes that I'm gonna put on. I have some lashes <coughs> that are by a company called Lanvier Eyelashes and Eyeliner. It's supposed to be five pairs of eyelashes and magnetic eyeliner. I got this off of Amazon. So did I say that this is gonna be a full face of NYX? It's gonna be mostly NYX, but it's gonna be a full face of affordable makeup mostly NYX products. Let me say that. I never tried magnetic lashes before. So it's five different types of lashes. It gives you the magnetic liner. Let me see what it says. It says how to apply. Read the above notice before using this product. Carefully draw the eyeliner along your eye shape. Make sure the line is close to the root of your real lashes above your real eyelash before it totally dries. Adjust gently until the eyelash is perfectly applied. It says Shake the eyeliner before use and put the eyeliner cap back on after use to prevent it from drying out. I'm shaking it up. I'm praying that it is going to work for me. Let me see which lash I wanna use. I think I'm gonna try this one right here cause you know, I like a big lash. I never used magnetic lashes before, I'm excited. Now this is supposed to be eyeliner and eyelash glue. Okay, this is a cute little lash carrying mirror. This is cute. It says put it on before it dries. I remember I went to a, like a little expo thing that they were having and they charged my friend $50 for magnetic lashes and the glue. This was like three years ago. It was one pair of lashes. Okay, so far, it looks like it's sticking. Let's try the other eye. I like how easy they go on. I don't know if they on good, because I don't think this one is. 
So I have this NYX Professional Plump Back with Electrolytes Plumping Serum Primer. It says skin instantly feels and looks plump. Use alone or with foundation. This right here, I'm gonna try it. I'm just breaking the seal. Ugh. I thought it was a spray bottle. It's not a spray bottle, it's a pump. Okay, it's a thick, like gel-like consistency. It has a nice clean smell, plumping serum and primer. Now this doesn't say anything about pores and I don't see it doing anything for my pores. They gave me like a little sample of their marshmallow primer. Let me see what it says. The NYX Professional Marshmallow Primer. Softens, smooths, extends makeup, hydrates, feels smooth, evens tone, minimizes texture, blurs lines, soft focus finish, and keeps makeup fresh. I'm gonna see, but I don't know what it's gonna do for my pores because it doesn't say anything about pores. It says minimizes texture. So to me, pores is texture. It smells pretty. That's what it looks like. It's definitely a marshmallowy. It's thick. Okay. It smells good. I don't know if it's marshmallow. I think that I use too much. I think I use the whole pack. <laughs> Maybe it fills in those areas. I think I used too much. I like it. I like the smell. It's definitely tacky. But it definitely feels kind of heavy. And I think I may have put too much on. We're gonna see. Okay, I'm gonna use this Haley Beauty's Retouch Setting Powder to set this. I think I definitely put too much on, but <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna be a good thing or a bad thing. But I'm definitely gonna set it. I ordered a new setting powder that just came out yesterday. I'm super excited about it because I have been looking for a new setting powder. I think I had said it before in one of my videos how when a lot of these companies do like special promotions, they do it in the lighter colors and not the darker colors. So I was looking for a new powder and I'm hoping and I'm praying that this is it. I will not tell you what it is, but if you follow the beauty community, then you know what it is. Because it came out yesterday, and I'm excited to try it. They have a new primer and a new powder. All right, I'm going to use this Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation. I have it in the color Cocoa. I think I could have got the color Mocha, but I ordered this a while ago, and I did not use it. I used it one time and I was like, okay. It looked pretty on the skin. It was a quick time frame that I had it on. So this is the color and let's see. I can't remember anything about this foundation. Like does it dry fast or when I say anything, I think I use it like <laughs> I'm not even gonna tell you how long ago, but a long time ago. And I know that I remember liking it because I was like, oh, this is so pretty on the skin. I need some more. Do any of you guys use this Born to Glow foundation? And what do you think about it? Cause it's not new. So do you guys like it? Is it in your like makeup bag? If you guys wanna see like a what's in your makeup bag <laughs> video, please let me know because I have so many new products that when I travel, cause I'm going away soon, I don't know what I'm gonna pack. I know it's gonna be one of those foundations that I used during the summer foundation series. If you guys haven't seen it, please check it out. It's very informative about foundations that are long wearing for the summer, for the hot weather. I think I like this. I think it looks pretty. And it looks like the coverage is pretty full. Let me see what it says. I don't know if it's full coverage. I'm gonna have to pull it up and see. But I think the color looks good. It's like a little red, but once I put that, sealer down. It looks pretty. It looks nice with my arms. I like it. The pores look good. I didn't even know they had a Born to Glow concealer. Okay, this foundation comes in 36 shades. It says, you were born to glow. Now it's time to let it show. NYX Professional Makeup Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation. This smooth liquid foundation is so glorious. Glorious. We can't even. It's a buildable medium coverage foundation. And we're so proud to offer an exclusive range. Oh, it comes in 45 shades. Okay, good. And it's vegan. 
All right, so I didn't know that they had a Born to Glow concealer. Let me see, because I seen something that said Born to Glow concealer. I didn't know. They do have a Born to Glow concealer. Okay, I had no idea. We're gonna use this Can't Stop, Won't Stop concealer. And like I said, this is in the color Golden Honey. It has a very small doe foot applicator, see that? But I like it because it allows you to place it where you want it. Like I like the point on it. Cause even though it's small, you see I can get up in the crevice of the eye. That was good. I like it. It's not real spongy though. Like they didn't put a lot of cushion on it. So you could feel the tip. It's a thick consistency. It's very, very thick. You see that? Very thick, very thick. All right, I'm gonna use this concealer brush number 57. I use it to blend out the concealer in the eye area. And I wanna say this is supposed to be like a full coverage concealer and long lasting, but I'm gonna look it up and tell you, cause I think it is. It's blending out pretty nice though. Now you could always use your beauty sponge to put this on. I just use my brush because I like, I like full coverage, like not, let me not say that. I like coverage that covers what I need it to cover. So if it ain't full coverage, that's fine as long as it comes up. Whatever I need covered, if that makes sense. Because I don't usually like a full coverage anything because it looks too masky. And I'm not really going anywhere special. I know when I get to my destination, they're going to be like, you got all this makeup on from me? <laughs> but I'm filming. I'm actually pre-recording some videos because I'm going to be going away. And I want to have enough videos to put out the whole time that I'm there. So I don't want to have to take my equipment with me because then that just means more stuff that I have to pack. So I'm trying to avoid having to do that. So if I have to film anything while I'm going, I'll use my iPhone, which I really don't like to do because a lot of times when I film with my iPhone, the freaking footage gets, what is the word I'm looking for? The footage gets destroyed. Let me say that. That's not the word that I was looking for, but it gets destroyed. Like it doesn't, it's too slow. It doesn't show what I'm doing. And sometimes you don't realize because you don't always watch all the footage right after you film it you know it takes time like sometimes I just take it off the computer and put it on like a hard drive or I save it on the computer until I'm getting ready to use it and then you're like oh my god what is going on I'm going to use this beauty sponge because to me it's not really blended in I like that it looks pretty so far what do you guys think I like it Now you see how when I started using the beauty blender, it's picking up the concealer. I hate when that happens. I hate when that happens. I guess these two formulas are not friends. <laughs> They're like enemy of the state, <laughs> enemy of the makeup community. It didn't blend in good when I used the sponge and I didn't leave like a super amount of water in the sponge. I think because this is a dewy foundation and then the concealer is more of a matte concealer. That is where the conflict is. The formulas are on opposite ends and they have different kinds of ingredients in them because one is dewy and one is matte. But that's all right, we're gonna make it work. It looks pretty. I'm gonna use this setting powder, which is that Haley powder again, to set under my eyes and then set the whole face. I wanna get under my eye so it doesn't crease. Now today I think it's like 86 degrees outside and I am going out there <laughs> with this makeup on. See how that is at the top? If you see that at the top, and I don't know if it has to do with, see that if you look at the top where the concealer was at, it definitely did not do well up there. I may have to try this again with a different, a different concealer because I didn't even think about one being matte and one being dewy when I put them together for the video. So it's all good. If somebody knows of a good, affordable, loose powder, please let me know. I might have to try like black opal or something. There's something about this powder. You see the oil in my skin and I think, I think it's actually that freaking primer. You know what I forgot? That I had this three step right here. I could have probably used that under my eye. That's all right though. I'm gonna use one of my, my favorite NYX powders. I love this NYX no filter powder. I have two of them. Let me see which one is the darkest one. One is cocoa and one is mahogany. Okay, mahogany is the one that I'm gonna use today. See, I was bringing some color back to my face.
So I'm going to use the Haley's Beauty Setting Spray. This is the Haley Beauty Refresh Ultimate Priming and Setting Spray. I thought I ordered a NYX setting spray. I hope these lashes stay on. I'm going to open up this NYX powder in the color 15. And I'm going to use it to contour with. I should be able to contour with it. That's the color. This is the color... Coco. I'm gonna use this brush, Morphe E53. Is it showing up? I think I'm gonna have to go back to the next section. Cause a lot of times when I'm ordering this stuff, I'm ordering offline, and you don't really see everything that NYX has to offer. Cause I don't look at every page. I just look basically for what I'm, what I think I need. And sometimes you need to really see what they have. I know they have some new lip liners out, but I don't have those today. I have some lip liners, but from them, but it's not probably the brand new ones that they just came out with. But that's what we can use today. The ones that I have. I like this. You see it? It's not super dark, but it looks nice. I like the powder. It has a nice sheen to it. Do you see that sheen? So, I'm going to use this color right here. And I'm going to make it a little deeper. Now, one thing about what I'm looking at on my cheeks is they look a little... I don't know if it's textured. I don't know what I would call it. But it's not looking... Smooth. It looks like I have a bunch of hair on my face. If that makes sense. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna finish under my eyes real fast. All right, I'm going under the eyes with the purple color, with this dark purple. I'm not taking that color all the way in. I'm gonna go under with this color, this yellow color that I blended out up here. I'm gonna go back into that purple. This is a LA Girl white pencil. That's what I'm using my eye. This pencil is very creamy too. It's almost too creamy. Cause I don't know if it is going to dry down. Am I gonna use this e.l.f. mascara? Nope, it's too big. Oh, that's like a purple. Can I put it under my eyes? It says liner stick. Oh, eyeliner stick, let me see. I like that. I like how it's it got a little pull to it, which is good. Cause you don't want that like super creamy stick that it looks like it's not going to stay on. I'm going to use this at the top. That lash is not even on. Alright, I'm going to try this one more time. I'm going to try this NYX highlighter right here. Okay, I am going to use this NYX lip liner in the color Club Hopper. Alright, I'm 
gonna use this NYX liner in the color Dolly Pink. It was my favorite back in the days. I don't even know if they still have it, but I like it. I love this color. I love this color. It matches perfectly with the eyes. This is so pretty. I have a new NYX clear lip gloss. Okay. I'm gonna go off camera, fix my hair, and I will be back to show you guys the finished look. Let me spray this face again. Okay guys, I'm back. It's the color Pansy from Lime Prime. One of my favorite liquid lips. If you like what you guys have seen so far, please subscribe to the channel. I know I've done this look before, but I like when you do a purple lip, sometimes it doesn't need to be so dark. I'm gonna use this NYX Clear Gloss, and then I'm gonna be done. This is not a review, this was just like a quick get ready with me. This butter gloss, the regular one, and this one, my favorite formula of lip gloss. Quickly, I'm just gonna go over the products that we use real fast. This was a palette that we used, which was the ultimate Utopia palette. We used about six or seven colors from this palette. We use this gloss, we know. We use these magnetic lashes and the liner. We use this Born to Glow foundation. I use this NYX glitter glue to get the sparkly shadow to stay on. I use this Haley's Retouch powder. I use this NYX three steps to sculpt palette. The highlighter is what is on my cheeks. This is the contour and the bronzer that I used as well as this powder and the lighter one. I use both of these powders. I use one to set my makeup and I use one to bring dimension back to my face. So this was the one that I used to bring the dimension back. That's the one I used to set 14 and 15. I did not put any blush on. Let me put a little, a little blush on. I'm gonna use this peach color. Just something neutral. This look didn't really need a lot of blush. I love these eyes. I think they look very pretty. We did a cut crease. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I used a primer, a new primer that I got from NYX. And I also used this sample, which was their marshmallow primer. I used this NYX Plump Right Back Primer on my face. I use this Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer under my eyes and on my face to highlight. I hope you guys like this video. I know it's very quick and to the point, but I just wanted to do a quick affordable makeup look. And I think this is beautiful. I think it looks wonderful. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so. If you are subscribed, please make sure that you hit the notification bell so that when I upload my next video, you guys will be notified. I will definitely be seeing you guys soon in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to share, like, comment, subscribe, and most of all, please watch. Okay, see you guys in the next video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you for spending time with me, and I hope that you enjoyed this makeup look. Thank you.